cuts for the super wealthy in this country while the middle class continue to suffer. The middle class needs relief, small businesses need relief, and I'm going to be the individual standing up in a debate come this Friday that will take place between Mr. Rubio, Mr. Chris, and myself, giving voice to the middle class. But I want to thank you for doing what you're doing tonight. Reaching out to voters and making sure that they know that there are individuals that want to move, turn the clock back on the progress that we've made. And I want you to keep the faith, and I want to let you know that we have an outstanding Democratic ticket throughout this state. You're at the top. Alex Sink, yeah, I'm the top of it. Alex Sink is a great Democratic candidate. Dan Delford is a great Attorney General Candidate, Ben Osborne will be a great CFO, and Scott Maddox will be a great uh, Agriculture and Consumer Services um, um, Commissioner. Now, when people tell you, well, you know, um, you know, it's, it's you know, it's the midterm elections, and we don't know how things are going to turn out. As long as we stick together as a family, as long as we use the power of the 600 plus registered, the 600,000 plus registered Democrats that are in this state. The people of goodwill will win. As I look at this slate here, people ask me, well, you know, um, Kendrick, you know, you're out there and you're running against two lifelong Republicans that have a lot of money in the bank. Well, guess what? We have money in the bank, but we also have a party that's backing my candidate. Yeah. And so as I look at this slate, I'm looking at it says Tuesday, November the 2nd, general election vote, early vote, October 18th through Sunday the 31st, and at the top of it, it says for U.S. Senator Kendrick B. Meek, punch number 11. Number 11. And then it goes down the line of everyone else. And I will tell you, on November the, on November the 2nd, 7 o'clock, Central Standard Time, when every vote has been cast, we do our work, the people of Florida wins. And I am committed to making sure that you have a U.S. Senate Senator that you can feel proud of every day. This morning, 6 o'clock, I was in the bus terminal in Fort Lauderdale where people were catching an early bus to work. The last thing they, the last person they expected to see was the Democratic nominee for the United States Senate holding the sign and shaking their hand and saying, keep doing what you're doing, help us on the way. That's how we're going to 